Fly Away by Daniel Lombardi I stand erect, perched here on windowsill as so many times before. I watch the young learn to fly, struggling from one sill to another, and then, thinking they've matured, take off with full force straight away, passing buildings that have stood for centuries on each side of flight. I think of times I used to lead, soar upwards, then left wing down, right wing up, soon reversing and then leveling out, wind tickling under my wings, laughing times of life. Upward lift from southern wind and beauty speaks to me in whispers. I see its colors painted in wash on buildings left and right. I return to perch, time not yet to stop. Shall I one day jump off, eyes closed? Feel the freedom of flight one last time? No, eyes must open, beauty must be seen, taste its colors, a breathing painting. Still, I sit at this window. A warm breeze carries the color red from roof and chimney to the back caverns of my mind, eliciting memories of joy. Shall I go now? Free float away? I soar as easy as the giant eagle. Time moves through me, attacks, and comforts me. I land again, the muted colors blending, hazy, the buildings on right marching, stepping down and away until finally becoming insignificant, as some memories do. The left wall of the tunnel stands red, tall, and strong. Those thoughts that live within its walls are memories forever. I sit here, counting windows. How many? 110? I think acquaintances they are. Yet chimney? But one. As one strong, true friend. Always pointing upwards towards the heavens from where it was sent. To be my rock, it guides me. It guards me. It waves some away that would harm me. It's red with life blood, stands strong against the winds, explodes its heat out in daggered smoke to warn the bad away. I sit here and think of all the past, the good, the bad, the young, the old, those that have come and gone, those who have been born and flown. I turn now and look inside. It's a warm place. I see the beaten leather chair that's cracked from age yet stands still bold and holds on dearly, my skin to match it, my thoughts too. I sit and stare at the muted colored buildings in the painting over the mantel.